Mwalimu Julius Nyerere Leadership School, located in Kibaha, near Dar es Salaam City in Tanzania, is geared towards meeting this demand as it aims to nurture young future leaders to steer the continent towards its second liberation. The school is owned by six parties of the former liberation movement. And this is uh, Zimbabwe for uh, ZANU-PF, Angola for NPLA, Namibia for SWAPO, and uh, South Africa for ANC, and Frelimo for Mozambique and for Tanzania uh, CCM. I know there the are people who ask, was Tanzania also part of the fr uh, frontal states? Tanzania was the country which supported all these frontal states. And during that time, all these uh, parties had offices and they were supported by Tanzania. In Northern Cape Kimberley, South Africa, Yolanda Johanna Slade is visiting a radio station for an interview. She works with the African National Congress, the ANC, which has been South Africa's governing party since the country's independence in 1994. Someone else, how, how does it actually, where does it all begin? I'm driving to the, our local radio station where I'm going to discuss and have a conversation with our communities regarding social injustices. I have a guest here in studio with us and she goes by the name Miss Yolanda. For me, I look at collaborations, I look at partnerships, how do we bring on board um, other women from other or, 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 yeah, or, or, yeah. or other um, NGOs, NPOs, or participate in platforms mm -hmm. where we can have a voice, not only as I've indicated in South Africa, but how do we broaden it up yeah, to Africa? Yeah. When are we start having that discussion mm -hmm. and see what is happening in Africa? Yes. What is happening to men and to women? Um, um, so that as we talk, we don't only think about shaping yeah. ourselves, but shaping the whole continent yeah. and finally having a, a word in shaping the world mm -hmm. because we must have our voices being heard. The quest from the leaders that were there um, in bringing about the change that is needed, the unity that is needed for all of us to work together as countries, as liberation movements, um, to address the challenges that we are faced with. Challenges of unemployment, inequalities, um, poverty that is there, but to build Africa so that it's able to can uh, contribute to the world in making it a peaceful and harmonious environment to live in, all of us as people. The Walimu Julius Nyerere Leadership School brings to East Africa a state-of-the-art institution that was built in collaboration with the Chinese government. A, we need to acknowledge our challenges. We need a serious young leadership that, is com that, that comprises of both men and women of determination who are focused, who are united, who speaks in one voice, who understand the challenges that we are faced with, but who are driven to want to bring about the change that is needed of our people. We don't want, um, they must not be corrupt. They must have morals. We need ethical leaders, honest and respectful young leaders who are able to can keep each other accountable. <laughs>